Okay, so I've been working on these frames for a few days. Um, I've got three of them to put together, and I tried everything in the book to stop them um, bending when I've welded them. I've tried clamping them to the bench, I've tried clamping them so they're bent the opposite way. As soon as you let the clamps go, they still bend. Not as bad as they would do if you weren't doing anything, but they've still got a bend in them. You can see that right hand one's got a bend in. If you can't see that, well, look at this one. See across the top there, bent like a blooming banana. Anyway, it's done now. They're all bent. I've got to straighten them, because I'm not happy with them, so I'm damn sure the client won't be. I've uh, had a quick think about it, and i come up with a quick idea, hopefully relatively quick idea. So what we're going to do, I'm going to use some wood to protect it. Cut a piece, the width of the middle bars there. And I'm going to put my jack on there. This is a 20 ton air over jack. Another eBay bargain. I think I paid about 30 quid for that. Just line her up. Make sure we bang in the middle. I don't want it pulling up oddly. I want them to try and pull them both up together. And then this, it's uh, <laughs> it's all I've got. It would have been better to be in a bit of channel or a bit of bo heavy box section, but you know, you've got to use what you've got. Um, and I only use this because it's nice and heavy. You can see it's about 5 sixteenths thick wall on this, or at least a quarter. And then I've just put a ring and a couple of bits of flat on there just to sit it on the top of the jack so it doesn't roll off when I'm trying to work on it. And then couple of chains, we're going to hold it together, hopefully. I'm going to put some wood under the chain. And I'll speed this up because I make a right pig's ear of doing this. Um, and it takes me quite a long while to set it all up. You can use this, this trick for all sorts of things. Right, we're done. Let's jack her up. Take the strain. And hopefully it will all pull up. Oh, that went bang. And it's difficult to know exactly how much you need to go up by. Because you don't know what it's going to spring back by, so I'm not, you know, a bit hit and miss on this. Let's have a little look along it. It actually looks as if it's bent quite a bit the other way, but. I don't know. I think what I'm going to do, do it just a little bit more. Yeah, that looks that's well bent now. I'm hoping I haven't gone too far. So let's let the jack off and have a good look. Cast an eye along it now. Can't really see very well. Let's move these chains out of the way. And that bit of pipe. Well, it looks like it wants a bit more to me. Uh, let's get it stripped down and have a, a proper look. Because um, I can't really tell with all this gubbins around it. Let's get it apart. Right. See if you can actually see with the camera. You can just. It's way better than it was, but it's still not right. Still got to come up a bit more. So let's put it back together, but I've figured out a better way of doing it now. So let's have a go. So I've got a couple of clamps holding the wood on, so I put them in first so that they don't go anywhere. And I've clamped the actual top bar to the jack. So then it makes it dead easy just to whip the chains on. Nothing's moving. So that's a much better better way, considering I've got to do all four corners on, on three of them. So I've got 12 lots of this to do. So let's have another go. See how far we need to go this time. And so it's all a bit hit and miss, because you just don't know how much it's going to spring back. And this stuff, it, this is ERW... Um, 2 mil tube, it's 20, uh, 50 by 25, so 2 by 1 
tube which is in two mil thick, which is about 14 gauge. And it really is, it's almost like welding stainless, it, the way it pulls. You can see now how far that's bent. And I'm, I don't know, is that too far? Let's let it off again and have another look. See, it pulled back straight away. Pass an eye over it again. I think it's not going to be bad. Stick a straight edge on and have a look. And look at that. Oh, that don't look bad to me. You'd probably get a fag paper through the middle there. It's overbent just an absolute net. So you, you can see through it and you, that's probably a couple of thou if that. So I'm happy with that. So let's crack on and do the next side. You can, again, you can see already how bent that is. Look at that. Terrible. Never mind. We can fix it. So now I've got the process sussed. Shouldn't take long to put this back together. I so say you can use this this sort of trick for all sorts of things. We've used it in the past for straightening all sorts of things, long things, short things. And you can even you don't have to have a hydraulic jack. You can use a you know manual jack. You can use a screw jack even if uh, it's powerful enough. But obviously the the air over is a piece of cake. And as I say we used to use a dirty great big heavy bit of um, I beam and lay it on the floor and do it laying down rather than standing up like this. But um, this is easy for what I want to do and to show you. I'm just clamping that top beam onto the top of the jack. Ideally I'd want to try and fix it to the bit of wood but I've got time for that looking about. So as you can see it's much easier to put together now. Now it's all held. Let's drop the chains on. Now these chains are rated for 50 tonnes so I'm not worried about them letting go but if you've got chains that you're not sure about it might be worth just chucking some sacks over each chain before you uh, pump it up just in case they do let go but I'm not worried about these as I say they're good strong chains so let's have another go I've got the uh, pressure on the, the, the new compressor turned down quite a bit because I don't want this to pump up too quickly. I want to be able to watch it. But, uh, if you turn the pressure up it does pump up quite a bit faster. You can see there it's going the opposite way, the opposite way, the opposite way. It's, um, when do I stop? Let's see. You know, looking along it, it looks bent as buggery but look how much it springs back. It's incredible. Let's just run an eye across that one. Don't look bad to me. So let's have a, get it apart and have a proper look. Let it right down. If I had an open throated fly press, I might have been able to do it under that, but I haven't. Mine's a complete arch, so I can't get it under. Right, let's have a little look. Look at that. Cracking. Sorted. Bob's your uncle. Let's do all the rest of them now. Get it finished. So I'm happy with that result. 
it's worked out really well. I was worried that I would damage it with the chains, but putting that piece of wood in that just sticks out a little bit has really saved it. Um, so now I've just got to get on and do the rest of them. It's a job I didn't factor into the, the price, but these things happen, you know. Uh, I don't think it'll take me that long, so I don't think I shall, you know, lose out. Anyway, nice little tip that might help you out in the future. Thanks for watching.